All right, it's called Cost Tracks and Trails. And hopefully you guys are having a nice day even for this chilly and kind of snowing as you can see. We're going to be trying out the PF340 Cooks, I believe is what it's called. But anyway, I got my bag. I wanted to show you how it sets my bag, so let me get turned around here. There's my bag, of course. So, we'll get this undone. I might have to put on my stocking cap. It's like 20 something degrees out here. Get on the Velcro. Come on. There we go. Of course, that's what's on top. So we'll get what's on top out. There's my food bag, which is what we're going to cook up what's in there. I haven't quite made up my mind. I think we're just going to try nutrient survival. I did. You're going to notice I tried to use this thing. And there it is. Sits right in there perfectly. So let me just get it out. Let me get it over here. And there's what it looks like. Now, the reason it looks like this is I was trying to do a video yesterday. During the course of the video, I hit the wrong button. So I can already tell you, it works. I used the pan part. I just cooked sausage eggs. Get this thing. It's actually staying in there. Sometimes it stays in there when you do that, and sometimes it don't. Right now, it's staying. Um, but I used the pan. Today, we're going to use the pot. Like I said, it's kind of cold out here. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Anyway, I'll get back with you guys. Let me take this apart and get it like I want it. But this is what it looks like when it's together. And like I said, sometimes I can get this thing to stay on there like that, and other times I can't. It don't matter to me one way or the other. Can they stay on there or just come completely out? Stop doing that. Because I'm going to need this part. It's where you put the alcohol stove at or burner. It's not a stove until you put those things on. Anyway, I'll get back with you. So, like I said, here's what it looks like when it's together. And just to get that out of there, go ahead and undo that. I don't know what's probably in there, quite honestly, because sometimes it does and sometimes it don't. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you something real quick. You see these things? They're laying flat. I can pin them up. I'm talking about these right here. Here, this might show up there. Foes. They they ain't flat in there when you store it. Pit them up. Now when I'm doing this, I'm not going to go ahead and face it this way because I'm going to be easier for me to do it. Like I said, everything says Pathfinder on the course, the logo. You probably see this one there, it's not black. And the reason it's black, I use heat. But I'm using the wrong one. I'm using the heat out of the red bottle. That yellow bottle. Get the yellow bottle. But for now, we're using the red bottle. So that's what I got. It's off here. This is the pan. It's also what it is. You can double this as it is for pot itself. Yeah, it stays on there pretty good. In fact, I've had it stay on there. As you can see, I kind of burnt what I was eating. I'm not a major cook here. But I'm paying attention to my sausages. We're not using that part, so I'm just going to set it down right here. So, we're going to use it for our bow is what we're going to use it for. In fact, I need to get my bag and find it where I'm going to cook. So, I'll show you this part. Get my alcohol burner. And as you can see, it all stores in a pot. And I still got this. When it's like this, it's alcohol burner. You got these things, you stick them on there, and it comes the stove. We're after the burner part. Let me get this undone. Next time, just do that. Sit right in there. I got a bit of a breeze, but it's not windy like it was. I did manage to cook something yesterday. And it's better to use one of these if you use the alcohol burners, I discovered. Maybe. 
There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water started. I just grabbed this to make my life easier. That go out? That went out. No, it didn't. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'll put some in there for now. I'll get this to heating up and I'll get back with you guys. And I'll keep an eye on how long it's going to take to, to keep in mind. It's 20 something degrees there, so it might take a minute. I didn't. What time is it? It's still not 41. Alright. I'll get back with you guys. Alright. We're going to do this easy today. I'm just going to have this triple mac and cheese. I'm going to go ahead and dump it in here. This water is sort of warm. It's like lukewarm right now. I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in here. I don't think I need that much water. I was looking for one of those freshness things you see in them. I don't see one. I know Pathfinder has some food down. I'm going to buy some eventually. That's what I well, use it. Well, I don't know. Got gift cards I'm trying to use. I'm also trying to get food for her. Look here, man. She's why I've been going to pick that up. Trash on the ground. Do well. There's some of a breeze here. There we go. That should be plenty of water. In fact, that's probably almost too much. We'll find out as we go. I think I may put another one in there. Hold on. If I got another one. If I got another one. Ah, that darn used up the new since row stuff. You sure what my opinion it was alright, wasn't that great? So it's gonna be kind of a soupy one. And I'll get back with him when it starts boiling. Okay, let me take it off here and see what it looks like. I'll get back with you. And as you can see. I didn't really do a good job of eyeballing the water. Now, it is steaming, so that's a good thing. I was going to put more in here, but I don't have no more. So I'll let that go. It didn't take that much water. In fact, I still got a little bit of water in here. I kind of got carried away with my pouring. Now, let me tell you something about the alcohol burner. When you're pitting it out... Don't use this lid. See that black thing in there? There you go. That's what keeps from leaking. If you use this to fight the fire, the flame's going to touch us. It's going to cause a leak. I have not had a problem. I use this to stuff my fire out with. This is what this is for. You use this and you won't have a problem things that are leaking. But anyways, I'll get back with you guys. Um. Alright, I found something to make it a little less soupy. We're going to add this to the macaroni and cheese. Southwestern Melody, which this one's not a bad one. It's actually better than mac and cheese. We're going to have the sips on the side. Oh, it's got beans in it. Rice. Alright. Add it in my pocket here so we don't crash over the place. And that's steaming. Man, is that going to work or am I going to have more water? Um, no. Alright. And the good news, I don't think I'm going to have to add more water. Good. I don't know if you guys suggest yeah, steaming pretty good. So I'll keep starting so I don't get stuck to the... too much. I'll probably add a little bit more water. 
I'm gonna make the bowl time take a little bit longer, that's alright. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, that's plenty. That is plenty. Flame, we still got a flame. I'm always checking it because uh, not that good with alcohol burners. <laughs> Get back with you guys here in a minute. All right. Now, as you can see, this had rice and beans in it. Just wanted to show you what it looks like now. I gotta tell you, it's gonna be good for you to so dang cold out here. That wind's back in the colder. I'll get back to you guys. All right, we are done. That only took a few minutes. I think it took me longer to cook the eggs and such than this. But let me move. Let me get this off because I want to show you something. As you can see, you hang this by a fire. Now let me snuff that out here. There we go. It might be kind of warm, but I want to move it out and show you guys something. Alright, so I'm gonna be eating out of I can take this. See that handle right there? That's not hot at all. You see that black on the bottom? That's from when I'm using that heat in the red bottle that don't burn that cleanly. So I use the yellow bar stuff and I will eventually. But I can just take it now because that handle. Now if you got it over a fire, you're probably not gonna be able to do it like this. You probably have to grab a stick or something. Actually, this did a pretty good job. Nothing's really sticking. Ain't that big of a deal. Now I'll show you what this looks like. I didn't burnt my mouth trying to get the noodles done. The rice didn't take that long. The macaroni part kind of did. I'll get back with you guys and we'll try this. Alright, here's what we got. Let me find my spoon. There's the pan or the pot or the bowl. In this case, I'm going to use it for a bowl. It'd be used for a plate if you didn't use it for a pan. Let me show you something real quick. Let me. Yeah, it's not hot. That's how cold it is out here, folks. Do you see these D rings? That's what I was talking about. And yes, that does that, but it's no big deal. When I first got this, I put water in it to see what it would be like, and it's not bad. I mean, do be careful when you lift up. You do have that like this. Make sure it's like that. Otherwise, you'll be like that. But it has these D-rings. You put yourself stick in here. If you got it over the fire, you don't have to worry about burning your hand on Because I imagine such a short hand on the fire will probably get you burnt. That's where the stove itself, I didn't have to use a stick. I had forgotten about the stick. But when it's on the stove like that... There we go. And that's what it looks like inside there. We'll see what it tastes like. I think I test tried these on some other videos, but as long as we're cooking. That's actually pretty good. Macaroni cheese by itself, not really good. I mean, I would eat it if I had to, but this. Everybody just had two, it's pretty good with the macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video for my phone shuts off in this cold weather. So if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. Um, of course, subscribe to me, hit the notifications bell, comment. We all learn off of each other, and plus, I learn enjoy the comments. And of course, that share this video out. Now, as soon as I'm done recording this and eating this, I'm gonna start uploading it. See you guys on the next one. I do appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. Cow, cow, stretch, trails. I'm out of here.